What's up guys, it's your girl Benny B and I'm here to show you how I achieve my 30 inch knotless multicolored box braids. Three things you'll need. One is braid formula, two is your braid formula jam wrist thingy to put the jam on and for number three is um, a braiding pot. To dip your hair in after you get your curls and achieve your curls okay i will leave the links below um to anything that i have if i don't have the link down there then i don't i don't have a link but if you want to see how i achieve this look stay tuned don't forget to like comment share subscribe and as always you guys i hope you enjoy the video thank you for watching till next time <laughs> I got four left. That's it. Everything else pretty much braided. I'm high. I'm high. So I'm gonna show y'all how I did it. All right, you guys. So I was just showing you how many I had left and how much I have to go. Um, I'm going to show you all when I'm on my last two or three only because um, I'll be closer to the camera. I was just trying to see how far I was from the camera. But yes, we're going to fast forward. All right, y'all. I'm back and I'm down to my last two braids, I believe. So how I always start my braids, um, and we're doing knotless braids again. I don't know if I said that. I always um, start off with putting the jam on and the jam I'm using today is called braid formula or the cream stuff whatever you want to call it y'all so I'm going to be using braid formula today and this is really interesting about my hair I really have a short part in my hair and it's like I kind of see it but I don't know y'all I'm just excited that it grew like it can go into a braid now I don't know if y'all can see it like it's right there while i'm touching it right now i don't know anyway so i put the braid stuff on there and i split my hair into into three parts after i comb it through always comb the braid formula through your hair um before you do that and then you split it into three parts as you see me doing and then you braid you braid one time you start the braid don't complete it just start it and then you'll take a piece of hair Hook it onto your pinky finger, and then you'll take the other piece and put it under your middle finger. That's why I made sure I had that nail on so I could see what fingers I was using. And so you'll leave that part out and just braid the hair like you're braiding it on your scalp. It's kind of like laying down on my scalp a little bit, but there's no hair behind it, so I'm not picking anything up. So then after you braid that one in, you will grab the other piece of hair that you left out and braid and then you'll add, you'll get ready to grab another piece of hair. I hope this makes sense. I want to let you guys see it for a minute. As y'all can see, my arm hurt. This is not for the week. <laughs> Do not try this at home. No, I'm just playing. Y'all can try this at home. Your arm is just going to hurt. And then from here, you all, we will continue to braid the same way as I started it off with pulling some hair towards the front um, and pulling the other hair under your middle finger, whichever way feels comfortable with you, but we're gonna add it the same way up until we get to the part where we leave the hair out. 
All right, y'all. So we're getting to the part where we're going to start leaving the hair out. When I first thought about doing this hairstyle, I was thinking like to just crochet the hair through my braids. Um, but my coworker told me that I was going to be wasting more time, that this would be easier. Um, so I went ahead and did it this way. So basically what I did is from where I'm braiding it, I just took a piece of the braiding hair, pulled, um, pulled it out, put it in my mouth. I mean, if you have a clip, you can do that too. But this one was easier for me to do. Just like how I'm doing the other one. And then I continue to braid. Um, my braid watch helps me a lot. Keeps the braid formula on there. And it's easier for me to get to rather than me trying to get it out of the jar. So if you do not have a braid watch, I definitely highly recommend one. Um, I got mine from Amazon. It is a heart-shaped pink one. And it came with like a comb. Two combs and like four clips. Something like that. And everything was pink. You guys know I love pink. Clearly. So from here, I'm just going to um, keep on going down and pulling out pieces to add on for the curls. And I do four or five for each braid. I think I accidentally did six for one of them, but I'm only doing four or five for each braid. All right, y'all. So I finished the braid. On to the next. Okay, on to the second one, y'all. So just like how we did on the first one, we will add the jam and then comb it through. And then, you know, add enough jam. Um, and then comb it through and get ready to divide it into three. All right, y'all. We're getting ready to um, split them into three sections. And then after you do that, braid the first section. So I believe I already braided it. Then you'll take a piece of hair, hook it to your pinky finger, and then hook the other half to your middle finger. Braid again, and then you will swoop that into your middle finger again. And you just basically keep doing that process over and over until you get to the part where you're um, pulling and leaving the hair out. you all we are done with starting the braid just taking a look at it to see how it looks and it looks pretty good so we are going to like i said keep going with that process hooking the hair to your middle finger and you can use your pinky um as a base to keep the other hair out the way but like once you get start getting to go down more it's easier you don't really need to use your pinky that much if that makes any sense like the more you braid down Also, be careful when adding a hair. If you add too much hair, it can be bulky, just like this one. Um, so I had to divide it into two. So just make sure you're not adding too much hair. I am now separating the hair for the curly parts and I'm just really trying to mix the blue with the blonde so if you guys don't have color you can just grab a piece and keep it moving all right y'all we are finally done like oh my god this was such a long three-day process it probably would only took me two days but i was being lazy so this was a long three-day process y'all these are my 30 inch knotless goddess braids multi-color i was just finding any any color i can find from the hair that i had left over <laughs> Okay, so now it's time to curl the hair. Now, do you guys see my pink pot behind me? I'm going to use that pot. It's electric um, to dip my hair in. And I have some of my rods that I have. I'm not going to use the gray ones, the flexi rods. I'm going to use the cold rods, which are the ones with the strings on them. 
um, and I'm show you how I just rolled them on up there and closed the top. I didn't do the flexi rods. Like, I don't know. I probably could have did the flexi. I wasn't trying to curl all the braid. I was just trying to curl the loose hairs that we had left out for the braid. Oh, I had just cut that off because I didn't have time for that. But anyway, y'all, that's how it looked after I got done putting them on. And then I dipped them and then they're curly. There you go. And then they're straight. I, had, I did a side at a time. I didn't want to burn myself. Um, and then here we are, y'all. These are our final results. So beautiful three days, but it was worth it. 30 inches and period.